you actually, when you met Brother Is, and uh, well, you knew Brother Is, but when he asked you to produce him as a solo artist, I mean, you had to realize there was a huge amount of risk for him, and he was taking a big risk himself at that time. Uh, we had, we had, I'm, I, he called me from the hospital. He was in Queens Medical Center, and he said, can you come up talk to me? And I said, well, of course, Israel. No, of course. And so I went up, and, and we had like a, there were, his room was full. His, you know, it's like a party up there. When we say hospital, we, we start trembling, okay? Mm-hmm. You and me mm-hmm. as real people, okay? But Israel, when you said hospital, it was a Four Seasons Hotel, <laughs> okay? Because he was waited on hand and foot. He had, you know, food. He had nurses. He had a buzzer in his fingers. You know, he could just get anything. And uh, I went to the hospital, and the room was full. And they, he shooed everyone out and closed the door. And we talked for almost six hours, probably, okay? And the first four of those hours, I was trying to talk him out of what he wanted to do, which is break away from the Makaha Sons and make his make a record with me. I was trying to really talk him out of that, and, and it was impossible. Israel had his own focus, his own mind. Um, and his own sense of purpose, I guess. And his own sense of purpose. Mm-hmm. And he had interesting ways of timing things. Okay, and I look back, that was 19 years ago, you know, almost 20 years ago. And, um, and you know, I, lo- I look back at, at the timing and, and stuff that, that none of us could see at the time, you know, and realize that um, Israel had this magic little spirit thing that just covered him and, and guided him. He was a very spiritual person. Um, he was crazy. He was naughty. He was he was everything you could put, but there he also was was very in tune and very bright and very very funny. Anyone that anyone that knows him, knew him, or met him for the first time, never forgets this man. He's so on it, funny, quick, clever. I used to call him the fastest man on earth, and he used to giggle with his little giggle. Okay. I said, you can get across the room from that side of the room over to here faster than anyone I could, I could, I could ever imagine. And he used to giggle about that, you know, because uh, uh, the fastest man alive. And he was with his tongue and everything, you know. He was just quick. And jokes, he would tell jokes. And uh, he was just uh, an interesting spirit. So, and it is. And it was a risky move for yes. him at that time. And, and, and even at this time. It mm-hmm. would be a risky move for mm-hmm. anyone, you mm-hmm. know, to do with that. He had a long, he had a 17-year relationship with mm-hmm. these, with these gentlemen, you know, and um, uh, he he just wanted to move on, you know. And uh, I, I was the first to say, you're you're, you're crazy, Israel. That you're you you are a part of a staple of Hawaii. You mm-hmm. are a part of something that is, you know, um, it's as I call it, the crazy glue that holds us all together. Mm-hmm. Music. Okay, it, it it permeates all of our lives every day. Music. You're a part of Makaha Sons, so you know. But again, he just would look at me and say, "No, we're going to do this." And I want to. And finally, I just said, "Okay, let's go. Let's do it." 